Rest in peace patch 13.2, but welcome patch 13.1b, which has brought some pretty interesting changes to the TFT meta. Let's dive into our top 5 comps again for this week. The first comp on our list wants you to get a drone and become a laser corpse agent yourself. Team Lasers is a super straightforward comp that makes use of the agents Zed, Sejuani, Fiddlesticks, Zoe, Echo, Senna, Yasuo and Renekton. Playing Laser Corpse from the get-go is one of the strongest starters in the game, so you want to level up at a regular pace whilst using Ash as your temporary item holder for Zed. Hit level 7 at the end of stage 3 and start your carry transition at the start of stage 4 by finding at least a copy of Zed and Sejuani. As Zed is where most of your damage comes from, you want to focus the comp around him. Edge of Night and Runan's Hurricane are just fantastic items to go for. And the third item can be really anything as long as it deals damage, but we prefer a Rage Blade to make the drones penetrate your enemies more often with his increased attack speed. The other 4 cost laser corpse is your frontliner Sejuani. Now you're going to want her to survive for as long as possible, so you'll give her items like Redemption, Warmog's Armor and Dragon's Claw. The longer she survives, the more damage your drones will deal. As for your other units, in an ideal world you want to have a laser corp emblem that you want to throw on your Zoe. However, any game of TFT is always unpredictable, so in case you don't get an emblem you can just continue playing Ash, although your average placement will drop if you keep playing a 1 cost in the late game. In case you do get lucky though, you'll see a Laser Corpse Heart Crest Orc Ram, which is obviously going to be an instant pickup. Other great augments that fit in just as well are any Zed Hero Augments or even Yasuo Support Augment Spirit of the Exile. But don't forget to isolate your units one by one and pay attention to your positioning when picking that one. Comp number 2 on our list in this patch is the Legendary Mecha Mira. Yes, even with the nerf, Samira is still a powerhouse that you just don't want to mess with. All she needs is a solid squad full of utility and a beefy frontline, so you'll be running her with Set, Fiddlesticks, Aphelios, Leona, Echo, Alistair and Wukong. This one is another default leveling comp that goes off like a rocket once you hit your carries. Your main goal is to get to level 7 by the end of stage 3. Snag a copy of your main damage dealer Samira and a copy of your main tank Set and turn him into the Mecha Prime. And in the meantime, Samira will just rain bullets on all of your enemies. Speaking of which, Samira's itemization is really straightforward, as she only cares about maximising her damage. Try to find Last Whisper in combination with Infinity Edge and give her a Giant Slayer 2 to boost her damage against those big beefy enemy frontliners. For your own frontliner set, you want to go for Redemption first, since he's the Mecha Prime and needs to tank for a long time. Then grab some classic tank items like Dragon's Claw and Bramble Vest. As for your augments, grab any hero augments for your carries, especially Daredevil and Regenerative Shields. And since your late game comp is packed with different active traits, any form of Stand United will make you a bit of an unstoppable force. If you are interested in a full guide of our Mecha Mirror comp with different augments, items and even champion options, check out the link in the description for a full in-depth video guide from our challenger experts. Comp number 3 on our list is here to hurt your enemies emotionally and go straight to the field. Emotional damage! You'll play the Heartbreakers, Viego, Echo, Samira, Talon, Aphelios, Leona, Zack and Alistair. Yet again, we have another default leveling comp that wants you to stabilise at stage 4 by finding a copy of your main carry Viego, as well as your core frontliner, Echo. The real strength of this comp though is it comes with insane flexibility. You have Viego for anything AP, Samira for everything AD, and enough frontliners like Echo and Zack who'll gladly take all your belts, vests and cloaks. The main carry in this comp is Viego. Now since he's a melee carry that literally jumps straight to the action, you always want a sustain item in Bloodthirster. After that you can go for Arnix Spark as his ability jumps will shred enemy resistances on the entire board. And finally add a strong hybrid item like Titan's Resolve. Your secondary damage carry in this comp is Samira. As a pure AD item holder and ace, she'll finish off the bleeding enemy unit clusters Viego left behind. So you just want to go for full damage with the Last Whisper, Infinity Edge and Giant Slayer. Anything else that you find defensive you want to send over to Zack or Echo, whoever you hit 2 star first really. Generally good tank items in a comp like this one are Z-Rock Portal, Protector's Vow and Bramble Vest. It's safe to say that any Viego hero augments are no brainers. Although he's your main carry, his support hero augment partners in crime has a higher win rate than his carry one. But seeing no Viego augments at all would be fine too, as you'll do just as well with Talon's Oxygen Rage augment or any Renegade Heart's Crest or Crown. Up next we've got the infamous Magic Orbs comp. Talia is the real MVP and probably one of the most consistent AP carries in TFT this patch. She's got a squad of fellow spell slingers and star guardians like Annie, Jana, Syndra, Echo, Yumi, Lux and Alistair, all ready to cause mayhem on the battlefield. You're going to want to level up to 7 at the start of stage 4 and roll to find a copy of your main carry, Talia. If your lobby is feeling extra powerful you can continue rolling to find Echo, activate star guardian 5 and even 2 star your forecasts. In stage 5, level up to 8 to snag the powerhouse 5 cost units Syndra and Joanna, which will complete your team. 
For Talia, you want to go all in with AP items like Spear of Shojin for maximum mana, Jeweled Gauntlet for extra damage, and Hextech Gunblade for sustain. Annie, on the other hand, will be holding down the frontline solo, so you want to prioritize defense with items like Gargoyle's Stoneplate, Warmog's Armor, and Bramble Vest. When it comes to augments, Talia and Annie hero augments like Burning Spirit and Stoneweaver are the way to go. But don't sleep on mana augments that buff all Star Guardians, like Blue Battery. Our last comp for this patch is bringing back supers, but this time not with Yumi nor Ash as our main carry, but the mecha prime, Draven. You'll play him alongside other mechas such as Wukong, Jax, Set and the owner, and obviously the supers trio, Gangplank, Malphite and Lee Sin. So whenever you're running a supers based comp, it's all about slow rolling, right? The key to success is to 3 star as many units as you can, and the easiest way to do that is by going on a 5 game lose streak to hit 50 gold as fast as possible. Now, when it comes to slow rolling, you've got two options. You can either do it at level 5 or level 6 during stage 3, and it all comes down to how many copies of Wukong or Gangplank you've actually managed to find. Draven is obviously the main carry, and you're selecting Mecha Prime in this comp. Now, for his items, you want to go for a sustain item like Bloodthirster first to give your big guy a big health shield in those 1v9 scenarios. Then go for damage in Last Whisper, and finally top it off with a Titan's Resolve, as he can always make so much use of this item. Your second most important unit is either Lee Sin or Malphite, and it really only depends on who you actually manage to get 3 star first. Either way, you want to send everything defensive their way, with something like Sunfire Cape, Bramble Vest, Dragon's Claw, and so on. When it comes to augments, Draven Hero augments are easily the top choice here. If you're fortunate, you may also see a Mecha Prime Heart, Crest, or Crown, which will make playing the final 5 Mecha Prime comp so much easier to hit. Well that's going to bring us to the end of our top 5 comps you have to play this patch from our challenger experts. If you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay ahead of the meta with Mobilitics.